Hello everyone, welcome you all. So in this video we are going to discuss about decimal to binary coded decimal encoder that is decimal to BCD encoder. Okay, so it is also called as 10 is to 4 encoder because it is having 10 input lines and 4 output lines. Okay, so this encoder has got 10 input lines and 4 output lines. Each input line corresponds to the each uh, decimal digit and 4 output uh, outputs corresponds to the BCD code. Okay, so this is a decimal to BCD converter or encoder and it has got 10 inputs on the right, left hand side and 4 outputs on the right hand side. So why it is called as 10 is to 4 is to represent 10 as a decimal value we need at least 4 bits. Okay, so if you are using only 3 bits, okay, so how you can uh, represent 0 uh, in binary 0 0 0 and maximum we can represent triple one which is equal to the seven in decimal okay so that's why if you use three digits then it will be possible to only represent up to seven so if you want to go for higher numbers then you should increase one bit so if we are using four bits then we can easily get uh, so if it is one uh, zero one zero okay two to the power zero two to the power one two to the power two two to the power three this is a ten this is two eight plus two is equal to ten so like this we can get ten as the output in case of uh, using four bits so that's why we are using four bits rather than three bits okay so that's i hope you uh, that's clear about why it is ten is to three uh, ten is to four rather than ten is to three all right so how we can construct the truth table for decimal to bcd encoder so it's simple it has got um, 10 inputs that is y0 to y9 so these are the input lines and these are the four output lines okay so the condition is that at any time only one of its input will be active or active high okay so one of its input will be high and rest will be zero so that's the condition for working either encoder or mux or any circuit you can take okay so in case of these combinational circuit it is a condition while creating the truth table one of its input should be high and then uh, we are uh, seeing what is the output for corresponding input okay so here y not is high means this will be one and others will be zero okay so y not is high and equivalent of zero we will be getting at the uh, output because it is a binary coded decimal where the decimal value is converted to binary and given as the output so zero equivalent in bcd will be zero 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 itself all right so next case is when y1 is high okay so one equivalent in binary is zero 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 one for two if you write in uh, if y2 is high then the equivalent number of um, BCD number for the decimal number 2 is 0010. Similarly, for 3, 0011. And um, continuing for 4, it will be 0100. So, up to when we come uh, Y9, the output equation or output binary code for Y9 will be 1001 okay so uh, this denotes 1001 is nothing but 9 in decimal 2 to the power 0 2 to the power 1 2 to the power 2 2 to the power 3 so 2 to the power 0 1 is high so it will be 1 here and this is 8 8 plus 9 is 9 so these two terms will we are not considering because these are 0 so like this we are converting bcd to decimal value okay so i hope you understood the truth table now let's move on to logical expressions so the logical expressions are a3 a2 a1 a0 so y9 and y8 why i am writing y9 and y8 for a3 is for a3 only two values are high so these are the two values that are corresponding to y9 and y8 so these are the two values so that's why a3 contains y9 and y8 similarly for a2 y7 y6 y5 that is 7 6 5 4 so for a2 uh, this is 7, 6, 5, 4. These are the values which are high. So what we will be doing? Numbers, uh, we will find the numbers which are high at the output. So these are the high. So corresponding column, we uh, find out where it is high. So it is high at Y9. So I will consider Y9 plus then uh, Y8. So this is added again. That is uh, given to the output A3. So similarly, we will write for others A1 and A0. That is 
when wherever it is one we will be adding the corresponding uh, columns okay so like this we will be getting uh, four output expressions so this is plus sign means we need or get and uh, one two three four four inputs are there maximum no five inputs are there one two three four five so we need one five input or get one four input or get one another four input or get and one two input or get all right so how we can uh, okay so now i know input and output true table but i need to find out what is inside this uh, box okay so that is the combination of some gates which will do our work so i i want to know what is that circuit which is doing my work okay so that is the circuit called as logic circuit okay so it has got inputs from y0 to y9 so y0 y1 y2 y3 up to y9 are the inputs then take four xor or gates okay so these are the four or gates a3 for a3 what are the terms 9 and 8 y9 and y8 so y9 and y8 you short here then for a2 7 6 5 4 all right so 7 6 5 4 i am going to short here so similarly for a1 i will be shorting 7 6 3 2 7 6 3 2 then for a0 9 7 5 3 1 9 7 5 3 1 so like this uh, i can get the output uh, that is circuit for the decimal to bcd encoder all right so i hope you liked the video please guys if you have liked the video hit the like button and if you have not subscribed to the channel, please guys do subscribe. Thank you. Thanks for watching.